Hey there guys, I'm Niblet K and welcome to another Nuketastic Day. Come on, let's check this setup out. Whoop. So you guys want to check my setup out? This is where I create my stream and YouTube videos. Now, I'm going to take you on a little tour of what you guys see from my point of view, what is in the background, and all other cool shit that I have gathered throughout the years to make my little nerd corner cool. This is my first project, so big video project that I am doing and learning for vlogging and for making better YouTube content. So bear with me. Hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to go straight into the point of view and some other footage. So yeah, just enjoy. Welcome to the point of view of Niblet K, like I was saying. This is what I am looking at when I am doing my stream. Also there, hi, you can see what's on my monitors and how it looks in the room. And we're going to use our chair to pan a little bit. <laughs> so that's pretty much my entire setup. This is already starting to be my wife's setup. And no, you will not see her on camera. So now we're going to come back. A little bit and we're going to focus on my desk specifically so we have the Razer keyboard we also have a secondary action cam over there just in case I need another shot and usually I tend to plug that inside uh, the front of the PC with a USB cable and then I'll be able to have a secondary camera on my stream now um, the main monitor is an Asus. I'm not going to go into technical uh, stuff because my products are not like over the top. Okay, so um, it's pretty much a pre-built PC that I got. Uh, I can do my job with it uh, more. Let's say more investments are going to come in time. Um, next we have, I'm a big Diablo fan, so we got the Diablo... Uh, Steel Series mouse with the Diablo 3 uh, Witch Doctor mouse pad, also from Steel Series. Uh, then we have our uh, blue um, snowball uh, microphone with a uh, Amazon microphone stand. I don't know exactly what brand it is, but you can find these things on Amazon pretty easily. And the second monitor that I have over here is a I don't even know how to say it. It's a hands, well, whatever. It's a old school Japanese uh, thing. And it's pretty much my second monitor because I got that thing for free. Zillo dollars, zillo euros. Okay, I got that for free from work. So I might as well be utilizing it instead of having nothing. Also, some other things on the table that are quite handy. A little notebook in which I can keep all of my darkest secrets uh, for me to know and not to forget, basically. Some sticky papers, you know, and just, just in case you have like a serious uh, off-the-top idea and you don't want to forget it, you just scribble it down there, you take a pencil, you take a pen or whatever, you write your idea down and then you stick it to your forehead and you just don't forget. Like I said, the action camera currently is just sitting here because I have nothing better. This I actually ended up picking up. This is a pair of headphones and I just thought they were funny because I am a big, uh, you know, enthusiast. I, I love sushi. And I just think these things are cool. I mean, I like Japanese culture and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, this is my belly. So yeah, this is what you guys are going to see. I'm currently watching another stream uh, so that you guys can see exactly how it would look when I am streaming. I have my OBS open right here and you can see my face right there. Uh, and then we have our Twitch stream open up so I can see chat over there. Right now we're watching Creparion because there's nothing else better to watch for me in my point of view. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about the camera. This is like the normal go-to camera that every one should use. Uh, it doesn't matter how, you know, 
how far you want to go. I mean, this is the Logitech C920. It's a real bargain. It's cheap. Also, my lighting really sucks. I used to have a uh, softbox. It's currently not in the setup. I will be implementing it back in the setup. I should definitely move. So yeah, all the light I have is like what's in the room. When it's daylight, I have to work with like normal light as well. And we also have this, uh, I don't know, it's a lamp. It's, it's a lamp that I uh, got as a gift. And it allows me to have a little bit more light like over, uh, you know, ambient light. We'll definitely check more things out in the future as we progress. Also, some more notebooks, you know, for more ideas and stuff like that. Definitely a lot of stuff in there because I tend to write down ideas at work on a piece of paper and I bring them home. So yeah, those are my uh, trusty idea books. And I'll see you guys in a bit when we're gonna go to the left of me and we're gonna start talking about all of this nonsense. Okay, so coming into my humble corner, my corner, uh, this is what you're going to get into. We're gonna be greeted with these two shelves full of cool nerd stuff. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of a, um, how should I say this? Uh, let's talk about what's on my shelves uh, part section. So a lot of uh, Blizzard, Blizzard Entertainment, uh, little figurines and stuff like that. I recently bought that for really cheap, in my opinion. Uh, didn't play Magic yet, but uh, that's definitely something I know of, and I think it's really cool. We have uh, StarCraft Collector's Edition. That's just a box from the Overwatch uh, posters. There's like a ton of posters you can find. Here we have a little bit of uh, Naruto and a little bit of World of Warcraft figurines. Uh, next we have some... <clears throat> okay, we have some um, mugs. Uh, we have some bills I have to pay. More mugs. Uh, a book that I... As you can see, it's still sealed, so I don't really read a lot, but I should. Uh, also, we have the Blizzard exclusive Funko uh, thing. Funko Pop collection of Roadhog and Junkrat from uh, this year's Gamescom, so that was really cool. We have some other junk in the back. Also, we have, like, let's see if I can do this. We have some more Funko Pops over there. We have Kenny... I should actually take them out of there and put them more on display. Uh, that said, I'll try to make a compilation of other stuff I have. Here, for now, it's in like an empty space because I recently tidied up all of this. Uh, here we have a Diablo 2 figurine, an Unraveler. Uh, another empty space. Some more uh, board games. Uh, so, this one's really cool. The Transformers. What is it called? Yeah, that's that's really nice. We have also, you know, for when we're actually gonna start doing our studio for music as well, we have the Akai uh, MPC, I think. MPK, okay, sorry. Uh, next, we have a bunch of PSP games, uh, a lot of junk over here, so different things. That's a hat, a shark hat. Uh, some more boxes with some more utilities and whatnot. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Here we have some more collectibles, more mugs. Uh, this one's from, uh, I think it's from, how do you say, uh, Woodbox. Yeah, I think that's from Woodbox. I actually found these. Also there we have the South Power Stick of Truth Collector's Edition. And here we have some more interesting things such as this thing, you know, some nice reading materials. Yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much the big shelf, which I want to get to the point where I can uh, pretty much uh, change these things around so I can have a more interactive uh, background for my streams and for my videos. That is why I actually ended up tidying up and having more 
uh, space in there so I can change things around. Over here at the very top we have our Gundam collection. We still need to do all of them except this one. This one is that's one. Uh, that one is my first Gundam that I ever built. I'll show you guys in a second. He's kind of old. He's kind of uh, like you know beginner status. So yeah. Uh, next we have our BlizzCon. Always buying the BlizzCon goodie bag. Uh, some more Funko Pops that we ended up ha having from uh, loot crates and loot boxes and wood box and stuff like that. That's also a wood box exclusive as you guys can see. It's an alien. Sorry about the light being so dank. Damn. Uh, here we have some more figurines, more Funko Pops that ended up in my collection. Also another, you know, loot chest exclusive. Uh, here we have all Star Wars and uh, Marvel Universe stuff. Then we have a bunch of games on this shelf. Also me and my lovely wife. And like I said, more of these guys over here, still in the box. Didn't take them out. Uh, Deadpool mug, that's cool. Um, then over here is our last one. Like this is like a Joker tin case uh, with full of full of junk, uh, collectible junk. And these are my Halo figurines. Uh, you know, I still keep them in the box. I found them you know in this busted up shape and I'm not taking them out of the box until I have like a proper display where to display them all so I'm gonna whoop push back and give you guys an overview of what that thing actually looks like the next wall like literally right behind me we have our guitars and my bass uh, nothing special I mean my bass is an Ibanez um, sound gear 305 or something like that I forgot the exact model but whatever and other than that we have like our Harley Benton guitars we have a seven string and a six string uh, and you know this guitar stand and also a pop filter that is actually too heavy for my microphone stand uh, here we have our uh, wall scroll of Heroes of the Storm a nice uh, Japanese, Viet Vietnam, Vietnamese or, you know, foreign Asian country uh, style hat. Mm, some more kanji, I think. That, that's how you say that. Uh, we have our Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls poster over here. And right over here is where we have you know, some Dragon Ball Z. And... This is actually one of the posters from that Overwatch little box that I showed you. And this is the other poster, so you actually get two posters inside. There's a bunch more. I really like the art on this one. I think that is sweet. So yeah, that's how those things look. You know, Dragon Ball poster is just from a magazine, just putting it in there. I still have a bunch of junk. This is like my wife's setup and you can see like the rest of the setup over there so this is her point of view basically uh, watching me be a dumbass on the internet and here we still have some stuff that we need to sort out another thing for a big poster in the future we still have some other collectibles over here I and mean, this is something i i want to put on the wall somewhere it's a nice avengers uh postery thing I can also use this as a work mat. Uh, here's my uh, amplifier for my bass and my guitars. And also some effects over there. Going further to the left, we have Godzilla over here. And the light's going to be a little bit awkward. Now this is just a space where I ended up uh, having more things. So... Let's go through that. We have our loot crate that looks like a old school box. We have my watches over here. Not gonna go into details about that. I just like it. Uh, we have a Mario tin box, you know, with the cube thing. Here we have some more 
uh, loot crates and stuff like that, some little uh, plush figurines. Uh, and here we're going to slowly go into board game categories. Uh, this is like a drinking game that I found. We have Abalone over there. This is just the box from the Ethereal. We have Carcassonne. We have uh, Mobile Catan. Uh, then going down, we have a lot more. Sorry about being so shaky. Uh, this is actually Backgammon. And this is a poker set with chips and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, Lord of the Rings. A lot of them are in German because I do live in Germany. So yeah, that's a that's thing. Some little comic books and mangas that I found like at flea markets. And here down, down here, we have more of the things. That one's actually in Romanian. <laughs> okay, Tokaido. Some other interesting things. Not the biggest collection yet, but I'm... Pretty much when I find something, I try to get it for myself, so yeah. That wraps up the tour of my Nerd Corner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely, definitely do more of these kind of videos. I'm gonna learn more. Hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said. Thank you for all of the support. For the likes, for the comments, for the subscriptions and all that jazz. I'm just kidding. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.